What's going on, guys, and welcome back. My name is Ronnie, and welcome to New Suicide Nights. We discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Here to talk to you about the Marvel Netflix characters. Now, for some time now, the Marvel Netflix characters, the rights to those characters have reverted back to Marvel Studios. Actually, if you all recall, since the cancellation of all the characters, like Daredevil and the characters preceding that, uh, the rights to those characters have reverted back to Marvel, and those characters were not even allowed to be used for at least two years. And that time has already come. Since back in November 2020, now Marvel has the freedom to use those characters in the movies. Now, as far as in what aspect they're going to use them and how they're going to use them remains unclear. But I actually had a theory, and I want to talk about that. But before we get into it, I want you guys to all go ahead and click on like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. I post videos on a daily, and I do live streams from time to time, at least Tuesdays and Sundays, starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So go ahead and definitely check that out. It definitely helps the channel if you subscribe and join my Discord. The invitation link to that is down in the description box below. So for the longest time, fans have been clamoring for at least a Daredevil appearance in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home. It only makes sense since the identity of Spider-Man has been revealed at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. And what better way to introduce a character who is an attorney to represent Peter Parker than Daredevil himself? Matt Murdock. Now, fans would want to see Charlie Cox reprise his role as the blind superhero, and that would be very exciting. And this article kind of tackles that here, and I would like to discuss a little bit more after I go ahead and read this article. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the exclusive article from the hashtag show, Marvel bringing back some Netflix characters to the MCU. So last week, we talked about Marvel's plans for a Wolverine anthology series for Disney+. Plus. This week, we're talking about Marvel's characters, Netflix characters specifically. Now, I know you've heard the rumors on the other sites. Kevin Feige and Marvel wants them to come back. The most requested information I'm asked is, what's happening with Daredevil? Or are they bringing John Berthold back as the Punisher? It's an understandably complex situation, and I can exclusively share that I have the full information on how Marvel is handling these characters. In a broader sense, Marvel was trying to figure out what to do with these shows some of which are relatively popular. For example, of course, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and The Punisher, the most popular three arguably out of the bunch. And while the others like Iron Fist and Luke Cage had more tepid fan responses. So Marvel luckily does hear you. There are some characters and other actors that they do want to bring back, but the caveat here will be that their time and experiences on the Netflix shows will not be directly referenced. So Jessica Jones coming back means that she won't bring up her story with Trish or Matt will not bring up his fight with the hand. So these are not stories that will play into the roles. It's simply actors fulfilling the same roles, but within a different universe. Marvel is bringing Charlie Cox back as Daredevil, John Bernthal as the Punisher, Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones, and Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk Kingpin. So expect Phase 4 and Phase 5 to sprinkle in these appearances throughout the movies and Disney Plus shows. From what I've heard, Charlie Cox is being brought in for a cameo in Spider-Man No Way Home. John Bernthal and Kristen Ritter will appear in a Disney Plus series. And D'Onofrio is set to appear in the upcoming series, Echo series. Although he may also appear in Hawkeye in a limited capacity, most likely a cameo at best. So what of Luke Cage and Iron Fist? Marvel may decide down the road to do something with these characters, but I've heard that sadly the roles will be recast. So there you have it. It's exciting to see that Marvel sees value in these shows, and even if it's just a pure talent level, while the stories won't be referenced, I think many will agree that these performances were incredibly good and well worth picking up and utilizing once again. And I can totally agree on that. I think these characters are awesome. I love characters like Daredevil and the Punisher, even before these series like came out on Netflix. And I think all the actors, including, yes, the actor that played Iron Fist and Luke Cage, did wonderful in their performances. Albeit Iron Fist, the first season wasn't exactly the best season, but season two kind of improved upon that with everything as far as like fight choreography and some of the acting, of course. But this is awesome. Like to see characters such as Matt Murdock appear in Spider-Man No Way Home just gives me a little bit chills. It'd be really cool to see at least Matt Murdock wearing the Spider-Man costume to prove Peter Parker's innocence in a way because Peter Parker can't be in two places at once. And me and my cousin were actually just talking about this recently, how they can, you know, play around with this kind of story. Personally, for me, I think it'd be a great opener to have like at least a courtroom scene with Peter Parker being represented by his blind lawyer, Matt Murdock. That'd be really cool. Now, the other thing about these characters not referencing their stories that they had in their seasons on Netflix, it really doesn't bother me. 
Honestly, I do not really mind a soft reboot, just as long as like their core characters maintain, like the characters that we experience from the Netflix series, as long as they play that kind of performance and they keep it the same way, I'm totally fine with it. Now, there is that fine line of ambiguity where when you watch the Marvel Netflix series, some references to the Marvel Studios films are actually brought up. For example, in Daredevil season one, the Avengers incident, as they call it the incident where like the alien invasion took place, in the first Avengers movie, that's actually referenced in the movie. There's even pictures of the newspaper. Now, to completely forget about it could be quite a bit of a bummer for us fans, especially since we enjoy those series altogether. But honestly, I really wouldn't mind a soft reboot, just like I said before, as long as like their true core characters are maintained and not much has really changed, I'm totally fine with it. And the best part is that the actors that actually got to play these characters in those series are returning for the most part at least charlie cox kristen ritter and of course john bernthal who were amazing in their performances as their respective characters so you let me know your thoughts guys are you excited to see these actors returning to the roles especially charlie cox as daredevil i'm extremely pumped to see these characters make their return or their marvel cinematic universe debut so you guys comment down below let me know your thoughts on this whole idea and if you have any ideas how matt murdoch can make his appearance in spider-man no way home comment down below as well I'd like to know your thoughts. And with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. As always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.